All right, thanks a lot, Sam. You know, the coronavirus pandemic altered the way we observe Memorial Day this year, but it did not get in the way of us honoring those who gave the ultimate sacrifice, fighting for our nation and fighting for our freedom. We just had to do it a little differently this way. Georgia communities found ways to honor our fallen military men and women with virtual ceremonies like these by the city of Dunwoody and Gwinnett County. U.S. Senator Kelly Leffler was back in Georgia today, but she spoke to us about the importance of this day. We should never forget a country that forgets those that defended it itself will be forgotten. Senator Leffler joined the family of the late Edward Coza, a Vietnam veteran. They placed a flag on his grave at the Georgia National Cemetery in Canton. 11 Alive reporter Bill Liss sent us these photographs from Marietta National Cemetery. There was no official Memorial Day ceremony there this year, but a few dozen people were inside to pay their respects. The ceremony normally attracts hundreds of people. Now, we have posted a look at how communities across Metro Atlanta observed Memorial Day. Just uh, search for this story under the Scene on TV section on the 11 Alive app.